Just, just turn it down a little bit. Uh, welcome to Just Roll With It Live. Uh, we are going to be doing something very interesting today because our good friend, Charlie Slime School, as you can see, is not here right now. He's very sick. So just wish him well, and we're going to have some fun while he is sick. You know, we didn't want to leave you hanging on content. We got to make so some kind of video. We're going to do something here today. We got to do some kind of um, rolling, am I right? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're going to be doing a one shot today, uh, DM'd by me, but not only me by you as well how this is going to work is we are going to have kind of fill in the blank portion where we'll take some suggestions from the chat and i will fill in what you guys say uh whether it's good or insane and we'll just roll with it how we're going to start off is i've got a, a couple of blanks here that i want you guys to fill in and you guys if you don't mind uh deafen so you don't know what's going to happen Wait, you don't what? know where you are I thought what we we're got doing? to hear the main prompt. We don't get to hear the main prompt? Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm cool with that. Whatever. You don't get I'll to hear the main the prompt. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just me in the chat for right now. Because right you a bitch. Yeah, put on some sneaky snitch bitch. for me. Let me get sneaky. Let me get sneaky. Twitch chat. I need you to just throw answers into the chat. It's moving pretty fast, so I'm just going to grab uh, stuff as it moves. Uh, our, first, our first little fill in the blank here. Our adventure begins in the blank city of blank. So I need a word to describe the city and a name for the city. I'm seeing a lot of song punkle. A to There's so much song punkle in the chat right now. Wet, okay, I see wet. Are we good with wet? Do we like wet? Our adventure begins in the wet city of Gunkville. Oh, why, why Gunkville? You did, oh my God, Gunkville. Oh, one of the one of the many gunk aisles. Now we just have to figure out what they're doing. You are a group of blank looking to slash for blank. So we need an example of what they are. Are they adventurers? Are murderers? Mur I s immediately saw murderers. Uh, hiss babies. I <laughs> murder cowboys. That's really specific. How do we feel about murder cowboys? Is that good? Yes, murder cowboys. Murder cowboys is a win. You are a group of murder cowboys. So what are they trying to do though? What are they looking for? What do they what do they need? Are they trying to kill somebody? Are they trying to take something from someone? Why are they murder cowboys? Looking for the song ponkle. No way. We could do the song ponkle. The coveted song ponkle. Now, we need an antagonist. Something to stand in their way acquiring the song ponkle. Who is Standing and no, I can't just do Charlie, guys. I can't just do Charlie. I, he's not here. I'm sorry. We're all you got today. We're all you have. Joe Biden. Hello. Mr. Clean. Oh, I, I, for copyright reasons, we couldn't do Mr. Clean, but we could do Mr. Bald. How do we feel about Mr. Bald? Do we like Mr. Bald? Yes. Yes. Mr. Bald for Mr. Bald. And what is Mr. Bald? Is he a crime lord? Is he a king? Is he a is he a jester? Is he but a but a but a humble man? What is what is Mr. Bald? President Bald. It's I, I really like President Bald. <laughs> President Bald, he's just a janitor. He's a janitor. Why does the janitor have any pull? No way, Mr. No way President Bald is a janitor. He would be a president, right? Uh it's maybe like the president of Bald Incorporated. Janitor. I, I keep seeing janitor. He has to be the president of Janitors Incorporated. Fuck it. What about Bald Janitors Incorporated? The president of BJI. Bald Janitors Incorporated. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I guess we got it. I guess we're good. I'm going to run you through one more time what you came up with. Our adventure begins in the wet city of Gunkville. You are a group of murder cowboys looking for the coveted song punkle. And it would all be so simple if not for President Bald. The president of BJI, All Janitors Incorporated. This was all you. You did this. I am now going to improvise an entire D and D session based on this, and it's your fault. Do we get to make our characters now? What's going on? How does this work? So, dude, the whole stream was uh, improvised. Now I am going happening. to. I am going to introduce you to the lovely city that our wonderful Twitch chat has created for us. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. And then we make characters. Great. Are we ready to jump in? Yeah. Our adventure begins on the wet, damp island Fuck of Gunkville. Guys. What did you just wet, call it? Damp, the wet, damp island of Gunkville. Of Gunkville. Okay. Uh -huh. A heavy Jody. rain drops onto the island like Teacher. bricks from the sky. 
Do we need to be taking notes? Is there gonna be a test in this? There will be a test, and you oh, will fuck. fail. Oh no. The streets of Gunkville are tight. Very, very small streets with tall buildings towering around them, all made of a red brick that is worn and torn by the rain that falls down onto this small island endlessly. There are a few establishments in Gunkville, one of them being the Slippery Tavern. Did you guys name As that As we too? Did they approach name it? onto the sl Slippery Tavern, we see several people of the town walking by on the streets, not minding each other, but definitely very close together. It doesn't give you much walking room. Moving in from the rain is a man with brown hair that kind of pushes through the crowd, goes in and sits down, and next to him, Grizzly, would you create your character? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so yeah. you want me to create a character now, just on the spot? Yeah, yeah, I want you to I make it. I don't know it. why, but like, you know you said, what? I know you said Western, but like everything you described made me want to do like a noir character. It can be a Western noir. It doesn't matter. Oh my it God. Just, you just, okay. So the only constraints about you guys is you are a group of murder cowboys. Murder cowboys. And, wait, wait, and wait, you wait, are wait. looking for <laughs> an item known to very few, but, but said to be worth millions of gold. So known only of gold, eh? as the song Ponkel. Right. Yeah. That's how I feel too, bro. Don't worry about it. We just got to keep checking. Just roll with it, bro. Just roll with it, bro. It's the name of the show. We got to keep doing it. Make your character. Find a song, Punkle. You're okay, a murder okay, cowboy. Okay, okay, okay. So I, just, need... I don't know, dog. I just, I I just work here. I'm wanna, serious. Do we want to poll it? Do we want to poll a few key things? Like race, class, I think, and etc.? I think it'd be fun if you if you polled um, race and class. Here are the options. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave the name for last here. You should definitely let chat choose the name because that's hilarious. I'll say the first option is a fire, Janasi. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Second option, Goliath. Whoa. Third option, I'd, let's do a tiefling. Fourth option, do a centaur. Uh, fifth option, Asimar. Can I do a mix since they were almost tied? A foot, a <laughs> fire genasi to centaur? Yes, dude. Dude. I'll pick the fire genasi race, but it'll have centaur hooves. Wow. Okay. So he's gonna That's be like, something. he's gonna be like a, oh, what's that fucking demon in the abyss? The minotaur. The minotaur? Yeah, he's just gonna, he's gonna have, be. He's gonna have flames. You have a labyrinth. Nope. The only labyrinth is my soul. Okay, I thought you were gonna say something mysterious. else. Nobody <laughs> wanted you to be a Goliath. There's like twelve <laughs> votes. I'll do the votes for the class now, right? Yep. Uh, yeah. First option, barbarian. Easy. Second option, druid. Third option, rogue. Fourth option, paladin. Fifth option, warlock. Okay. It's looking like Druid's winning. Druid right, is I'll winning. Time it. I'll like start timer for about like 40 seconds now, and then we'll just... Whoever's winning yeah, after that. I think it's on like two or three minutes All right, right stop, now. watch, go! Uh, boom, boom, you guys boom. have 40 seconds. 40 seconds I, clock to find out what he wanna be. It's, what it's kind of backwards, be. whatever. What's, What's he gonna, gonna be, guys? It's going, it's coming in, it's coming in fast. It looks like Druid is taking a good lead. It's like Druid's taking a good lead there. Barbarian's falling back. Falling back very far. Barbarian's falling back very far. Nobody wants to be able to see a Barbarian. But Warlock's, Warlock's catching up. Warlock's catching up good. He's catching up clean. He's catching up Barbarian. But Druid, Druid has got a strong lead. Strong lead over there for Druid. Druid is keeping it ahead. 45% for the Druid. It's 248 votes for the Druid. Going hard, going clean, going strong. Warlock is coming in strong. Warlock's coming in strong. Warlock's coming in strong. Warlock's coming Start to kick forward, but not fast enough for the druid. And it's the time is still going. I actually have no concept of time. The druid is one. Do I have to? Do they get to vote on the circle as well? Like, how far do we go with this? No, no. Okay, so it's just I'd say class, race, and they get to see you roll. This will be a little scuffed. Okay, is everyone ready? Yeah. It's gonna be really silly. Okay, here we go. How well can you see? <laughs> no fucking way you just did that. No fucking shot, bro. Okay, okay. Roll. Oh, no. That can't be good. Whoop. Oh, that was so much faster. Wait, why am I only getting 13? What is that? Wait. What? 13, 13. I'm cracked. 13. 15, All right, 11, guys. Um, 14. Oh see. my god. I'm a, that, those are my stats. You'll just have to guess what I what I put them as because I'm crazy. Okay, okay. We can do some options. I'll go five options. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna start pulling options and Tizen, every time I see one, you're going to you're going to put it in. Okay, John Cena. John Cena. <laughs> That's one option. Uh second option. Icarus. I saw Icarus a lot. 
Uh, Harrison Harrison is a crazy name. That's got to be on there. Obviously put Harrison on there. Obviously put Gay on there for some reason. <laughs> Dude, what? it's a great dude, name. No, great no, name. no, because that's that wins. That wins. We don't need the poll. That you wins. You never know, dude. dude. Someone, it might be. You know, we have know. to give a competition. We have to give a competition. No, I, I know. Here's a, here's a good way. First place is first name, second place middle name, third name last, uh, third place last name. Oh, <laughs> that's that's beautiful. That, uh, that's I, beautiful. I'm gonna I wanna put a I wanna put a cool one in there and, and do Phoenix. I saw Phoenix. That was cool. Phoenix is cool. Although I did see Gerald Gay in there, and that was that was a good name. <laughs> By the way, people listening in the future, if you like this concept, uh, make sure to come check us out at twitch.tv slash JRWI show, where we may or may not do this again. I don't know. We'll see how it goes this time. We'll see how those go. Um, but maybe more interactive stuff in the future. People really like it. If we'll this, see. If this works, we can do it again with Charlie and like a guest or something. That would yeah, be fun. I would love that. that. We're test running the idea. All right. So we got Icarus Gay Phoenix, baby. That's the okay, name. Write that, write that down right now. Ic Icarus Gay Phoenix. That's what I'm going to say. It's Icarus Gay Phoenix. It's my turn, huh? Wow. What a grand, great day. Class. Do you we want gotta, to go? We got to get, oh, get no, Chad no, to vote on the class. We're starting with race. We're going down, race, uh, down, race. The, my fault, yeah, my down fault, the list fault, here. So uh, first race, a uh, bugbear. Whoa. Second race, we're gonna go with a is it sat a satyr sat sat I don't satyr 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 that sounds good uh yeah third one a turtle okay fourth one gonna keep it easy a human and fifth one a gnome satyr wins okay that's what it's looking like so Condi is playing a satyr um satyr okay let's look at some classes fellas I'm thinking bard cleric whoa. Monk, because that's funny. <laughs> Sorcerer or ranger. It's just, I just see gay bard. I just see gay bard. <laughs> gay bard. Gay bard. Gay bard. Guys. You guys have to be in love, I think. Both of your characters have to be in love. We're hoof hooligans. Dude, We're, we uh, what? we love what? is the song <laughs> clunk clunk. <laughs> oh god, it's looking like bard. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing bard. Just remember, you are also a cowboy. Just don't forget murder cowboy. That is a murder part of your cable. character. They 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 figured this out for you beforehand. Murder cowboy. That's awesome. Sater Bard. Okay, so go ahead and roll uh, your stats, and then they get to vote on your name. I could bring your sheet up on my face again, and roll them for you if you want. There we okay, go. abilities. Abilities. Frick, Let's frick. go. Here Let's we go. See the money. I click. Show me the money. Wow, that's pretty good. Wow. 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 Wow! Dude, if I don't get 118, I'm fine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys, let's see some names in chat. Starting now, I'm looking now. Juan? Uh, don't want to go with that one, though. Let's see here. Uh, Gravel. Let's do Gravel. Gravel. <laughs> Igby? Igby, I like Igby. Igby, <laughs> Igby, Igby is, is funny. crazy. <laughs> Igby is, is Igby nonsense. Igby is nuts. Uh, Dagger? Why not? Dagger? Why not? Let's go for it. Igby Gay Dagger. Of course, the the insert at fourth place is gonna be gay. We can't, we can't not have it. And Flint, I like Flint. Gravel Igby Flint, boys. <laughs> Gravel Igby Flint. Nice. This town ain't gay enough for. I mean, big enough for the two gays. As we follow this brown-haired man into the tavern, people are kind of pulled together. It's all very tight. The crowd is, is slightly loud and all facing towards a center stage. As this man moves through the crowd, kind of squishing his way between people, he sits down next to you, Icarus. And he looks over at you and, and sees your, your features and, and says to you, Hey, how did you... uh?" How did you fit in here? Go shit somewhere else. Oh, okay. All right. I don't want any trouble. Uh, and he kind of brushes Before off. Before I take my hoof and shove it down your throat. Actually, go ahead and roll intimidation for that. This, uh, this is what I'm choosing. <laughs> I heard a natural one, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> he... I'm trying to pick my spells, you bitch. I'm just going to, every time I, I'm going to look at my list. And every time I cast something, that's what I have chosen. He looks over at you and says, <laughs> All right, whatever you say, buddy. Let's just pay attention to the show. Uh, and looking up to the stage, 
Uh, you see a man in a large top Are hat with a very colorful outfit. Show. All right, let's give a warm welcome to our next person up on the stage. Going to be giving us a wonderful performance here. We've got... What's your name, kid? He points the microphone over to you off stage. Where's the sock buckle? Gravel. A man pointed his microphone towards me. Knowing little that I was a cowboy murderer <laughs> and I was ready to murder yet another loud? man. The yeah, I'm speaking out loud. <laughs> Why are you? I are spoke you up to the man. On. You're on. My name is Gravel Igby Flint. He hands nice the to meet you. All right. Good luck. Spits. <laughs> <laughs> I spit in his general so direction cool. <laughs> as I approached the stage and looked out towards my audience. Weaklings, cowards, the lot of them. I was about to blow their mind. You see on stage, by the way, it's like a, a satyr. He has got, he's got this cowboy hat on and he's got a, I don't want to call it like a, a, a it's not a handkerchief. It's like fucking, you know what Fred wears? <laughs> like in Scooby-Doo? Like yes. around the neck? Yeah, he's got that and no shirt on. Okay. Uh, and he looks up. And he goes, anyway, guys, this is Firework by Katy Perry. The the hush in the crowd is immediately interrupted by a loud, Woo! Yes! Because baby, you're a firework! <laughs> Come on, let your fire burn! Make them go out! I sang so loudly and so truly. The crowd in awe was silent, staring at me as the music continued to play as I busted my heart out. Did he call me on this in stage? <laughs> roll, a, roll a performance check just to generally see uh, how they respond to your song. I did. I did interrupt it. That's a twenty-seven. Uh, I started monologuing in the middle of my performance. As soon as you monologue, the attention is still right on you. You're holding everyone's attention very well. But alas, the end of the song was coming up and I was still monologuing on stage to myself. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was my song. Did you just Whoa! call me weak? Yeah! You did great, kid. Get out of here. A man uh, shouted hey! at me from in the, <laughs> in the crowd. On the stage! Did you just call me weak? <laughs> Yeah, I called you weak. What about Summon it? Summon the flame blade. A man summons a flame of blade. And you guys are Though so I was scared, <laughs> I would stare him deep into his fiery eyes you would and see face him head on. Basically, like this, uh, this young, very muscular-looking man. Just the top half of the of the body is the man, shirtless, with this kind of like flame. It's almost like his head and his hair is made of this large, wisping, raging flame. Uh, and the rest of his body is just kind of like ripped, unnaturally lean, shirtless guy into these hoofs, this horse body with like the hoofs and the legs part of the of the horse body uh, in flames while the rest of it just kind of like black, and mac, short, black matted short horse fur and the tail is also this uh, flaming fucking fiery shit. Uh, and I summon this flame blade and I yell out, nobody calls me weak. Come here, pretty stare. boy. I'm Death shoving in my the face. flame sword right up your rear end. I look upon this centaur man and I think to myself, nothing really matters. For I've spent my entire life looking for the song Funkle. And I've yet to find a single thing. Truly, if my death were to come on this day, I would take it for granted. So kill me, big centaur man. Do it. Right, his arm swiping and strike and me rise, down. And, and I stop right at the right at the neck, and I don't, I don't strike, and I go. Wait, you just say the song, Bungle. The big centaur inquired. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I was born. I grab you force. What do you know about the song, Bungle? <sighs> not enough. Surely. My Tell monologue takes a different voice now as as I monologue out loud in Bisley's voice instead, who has more information on them. Tell at me this, about the song, Bongo! At this point, a, a, a man begins to, begins to walk over to you with his towering at a seven feet tall. He's got tattoos of swirls moving all around his body, wearing no shirt and, and some tattered Sparkly pants. But you see at the top of his head is a shine like no other, bald and the light kind of reflects off of it and catches your eye. And that's the first thing you see as he comes over and says, Hey, I, I'd, I'd keep your voice down if I were you. 
Now what do you mean? I asked inquisitively. Come meet me outside if you want to know more about this. Sonk Hunkle. The man seemed sus, but I had no reason not to trust him. No, you're gonna I tell me right him now. Outside. <laughs> and not waste my time! Immediately begins to dart into the into the crowd and get away going? from you. He walks out the door. You see him leave. Okay, I start running and I'm still uh, holding on to... Okay. Break um, the walk. Psychopath. I don't know his name yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't introduce myself on the stage. I wasn't listening. Everything, every, almost everything I say is in character. Okay. Really <laughs> <Totally> stupid. <laughs> so do you follow him outside or are you trying to stop him before he makes it out? Uh, no, I'm, I'm going, I get dragged along. Okay. Uh, he seems to be able to move a lot faster than you through this crowd uh, because you have that half horse body. It's taking you a second to get up. But as you get back here, break, he, he kind of just moves out the door and you see him dart off to the right. As we exit the tavern, stop that already, it's everything. raining bricks. Truly, it was a terrible day not to wear a shirt. I'm over here. Come on. Uh, as he kind of pokes his head out from a, a nearby alley, uh, you can just see him past the, the crowds of people moving through the street and this rain just pouring down on top of you. And he disappears into that little alleyway that seems to be go? lit by only a, a purplish neon sign. Where did he go, sparkly psychopath? The muscle-headed imbecile didn't look for the man who was in the alley. I say out loud, well, he clearly went into that alley there. Take me but to I him. I don't know if he... Alas, communicating with this brick of a man has proved to be futile. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Instead, I will have to use my own four feet and walk into this alleyway myself. And perhaps, perhaps he might follow a blooming of friendship. Surely not. <laughs> As he walks into the alley. Four feet? Is it four feet or is it two feet on a Seder? Seders have two feet, bro. Ah, yeah, fuck. It's two feet. I two hooves. fucked it. It's been so long since I've watched. You uh, only have two legs. Why are you narrating? <laughs> little does he know about hey, my, hey, my, on, my two legs. Where are your two what other legs? You gotta quit yelling or someone's gonna find us. I'm not yelling. He, yes, you are. Very loudly. Are you trying to fight? No. Unless you want to. Listen, all I care about is the Sonk Ponkel. I was born into this world in Sludge Town, USA. And I, I knew on that day that I saw, what I saw on that desk next to my mother was the Sonk Ponkel, and I've been searching for it ever since. That is an awful long way from Gunkville, so I can tell you've come a long way to find what you're looking for. I've looked for the Sonk Ponkel since I was a calf. What are baby horses? <laughs> yeah, the music like program? That. Maybe I can help you find it. I don't know too much. <laughs> Since I was a, a little mule. I do know enough. Here. You see that over there as he kind of moves out of this kind of alleyway and he's squeezing beside you because it's really only big enough to fit two people shoulder to shoulder. Uh, as he kind of moves out, he points down this this long road over to a a towering mansion-like building uh, with a with a kind of large fence around it. That right there, that's got what you're looking for. What is I it? I work there. <sighs> well, that right there is BJI. BJI. I heard of BJI. Mm, I've, I hear they got a good head parts. on their shoulders. All of them do, and all of them bald, just like this. Yeah, I got fired a little while ago, and I've been looking for a way to get back at them. But I can't seem to get in there. That person they got at the front gate, uh, they're not letting nobody in who's not authorized. What does it stand for? You don't know. I never did read much. He uh, pulls out a little piece of paper. This is my last pay stub. He hands it to you. And you can see it's got a logo of like a, one of those modernized logos that are like very simple. But you can see it's, it's in the shape of a bald man. And it just says BJI and underneath it in small text. Bald Janitors Incorporated. Are you saying to me right now, sir, that you're a janitor? Or once were? Yes, I am. Maybe at another time, but I guess I just didn't have what it took. I knew what had to happen the second he said he was a janitor. Or I was a murder what? cowboy. <laughs> what? And I had to murder all the janitors in this what? world. Hang on. Hang on now. <laughs> you don't got to murder me. I'm not a janitor no more. It's thems you won't. And they got the song Ponkle. 
I remember when pre uh, when the president took it uh, back a while back from a uh, I don't know what it was a sailor come into town talking about coveted items and he just had it and he kept it on his desk and every time I went in there I saw it. This is horseshit. Where's the song, Pongle? Look, I done told you everything I know. What you do with that is your business. Get out of my way, bald man. The bald man's sharp words saved him on this day, for if he had continued his job, Janet hearing, surely I would have to unload my gun upon him. I don't actually have a gun. <laughs> he moves out of the alleyway and just kind of meshes with the large crowd moving uh, down the street. Say... You, big man, what's your name? I was starting to walk away towards the place. Why should I tell you? Well, I figure, sir, that me and you, we're not too different. See, I'm looking for the song Ponkle as well. It's my fate, some could say. Sorry, I don't want to be friends with anyone who has a few screws loose. His words cut deep, for I knew that it was true that I was a little bit less than sane. Well, I had to make this work. Why or if I were do to see the you song Ponkle, keep doing this? He yelled at me. I didn't like being yelled at, so I cowered a little Get bit. Get out of my way! <laughs> the great Icarus <laughs> Gay Phoenix <laughs> is gonna get my hands on that song Ponkle! Uh, you walk away? I start charging home. A man ran away. So as, as you're charging through, him. people are kind of like, uh, saliva all over my getting setup. Pushed, <laughs> getting pushed around in your in your path. Uh, but everyone around that just seems to continue walking. No one really takes much mind to it. But Gravel, you can obviously see the path that yeah, this I, I large fall centaur uh, fire genasi is, is taking. Yeah, yeah it's like I, Ghost I fall Rider, behind. Dude. I continue monologuing everything that's happening. Have you guys okay. seen uh, Ghost Rider? <laughs> the big yeah. fire horse? <laughs> that's pretty much it. Except I don't have the skeleton. Is the is the horse part fire? That's awesome. No, I like the body is black, but the tail and then like the legs, like the calves or whatever, they're all in flames. That's kind of um, dope. And then That's the hair dope. and the That's head cool. is all just this kind of one big ball mass I like of that. fire. So I like it kind of looks like half of the human torch mixed with a horse. So as you walk through the streets of Gunkville, heading for this uh, this towering building, uh, your your feet are covered in a in a sludge stepping through. These roads are not paved. They are dirt. They are grime. All this sludge is getting slapped around on the streets. Everyone just getting disgustingly sloshed in this nasty slurry of sludge. But you take All no mind to it as you me off. <clears throat> triumphantly move through this crowd. All of them filing out around you. Get out of my um, way! As you make your way to this big building where a a concrete a wall stands in like between snails. idiot snails Move! as you begin to approach where the entrance may be at this point i would like you both to deafen and chat we okay. are going to have a <laughs> no. little bit of fun who's at the door who's guarding i have no idea go ahead and t you can't it can't be tied come on no you don't want tied to come back like that that's not how you want that to happen no Mr. Snail, the second one is going to be. I can't do Markiplier. Got not real people. We can't do the Kool Aid Man. Okay, so Mr. Snail, the Kool Aid Man. That's the second one. Pequeño. Oh my God. I could just I could just do like a little tiny guy named Pequeño who's like a foot tall. That would be hilarious. Bill the Gay Unicorn. Okay, Bill the Gay Unicorn is going on there, and Freddy Fazbear. All right, I think that's five. It looks like Pequeño's winning like crazy. And you know what? I'm voting for Pequeño. That's fucking awesome. That's funny. Just beating out Freddy Fazbear. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Twitch chat is, has, has uh, created quite the obstacle for you. Icarus, as you plow your way through the crowds of people in the Move. gunky streets of Gunkville, they are pushed to the side and you reach a cream colored wall. And that is only separated by a large wooden door. And it seems locked with a large lock. And as you're looking up at it, it seems like no one, no one guards this door. But looking down for just a moment, you will see five figures standing at one foot tall. All Open at attention, all of them wearing oversized guard uniforms. 
And as you say, there's four stand in the back and one stands in the front. As he looks up with this oversized helmet, you can just see the green eyes poking through. Hey, no one's permitted to come in here. You gotta get out of here, buddy. I continue my walk towards the door. Beneath my you hoof, have three I feel something I small and crunchy. You. Oh, you don't want to do this, tough guy. I'm, I'm telling you right now. Three. You better just stay away. Two. I start to like rough, like rough one of the hooves. <laughs> one. President Ball's not going to like this one. All right, I stomp on one of them. <laughs> okay, so you want to go to attack? Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. Do I get a uh, roll attack first? Sure. Okay, 22. That absolutely hits the first one. Okay, two bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Two bludgeoning damage. I hope he squashes like a bug. <laughs> I see the small men are here. Hey, that's the Pequeño boys to you. As you, as he kind, you kind of stomp him. He kind of like the hoof just hits into his chest. He says that as he pushes it back. Uh, now, what are your initiatives? <laughs> Nine. When I hit him, Nine. <laughs> Eleven. Hey, Sparkly boy, check it out. They're five eleven. <laughs> <laughs> up first in an initiative is going to be one of the little guys behind this this one standing before you is going to jump forward pull out like a, a dagger but it looks like a sword as he's holding it and gonna come and slash at you Icarus uh, and that is going to be a as an eight to hit no it doesn't <laughs> okay so I'll say, he, he you can say it, it's is that all you got? Jumps forward, kind of slashes and looks up at you. And the other one says, Oh no, we got a lot more. Come on, boys. Let's get them. Nothing you do is worse than the constant pain I'm already in. <laughs> uh, up next, another one of them is going to come to attack you. They're all just coming for you. Yes. That That's boys. a 12 to hit you. Let them come. Slash Does sus. a 12 hit? Yes, it hits. <laughs> a 12 hits? Yes. Okay, okay, so from this one, you take six points of piercing damage. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. I roll- what? What? <laughs> Why? I'm kidding, dude, but I am going to die. Um... <laughs> okay, okay, I, I, took, okay. I took the damage, I took the damage. Two more, I'm just gonna roll them all at the same time, pretty much. Two more are gonna attack you, as you're the aggressor here. One is an eight. Nope. And it's, the other one's a twelve. Yes. Uh, I right. use cutting words on the one that got a twelve. Oh, I use my do? bardic inspiration to remove 1d8 off of that roll. Oh, cool. Whoa. Out loud, you hear you hear Gravel say, the, the man of small stature weakly targeted the muscle head, clearly doing no damage. And it becomes true because he loses six on that roll, so he wrote a six. Oh, shit. Okay. Up next is Icarus. Okay. Um, I cast Flaming Sphere at my feet. <laughs> uh, since they're all next to me. Hey, what's this guy doing over here? Burn! <laughs> oh, I think he's doing some shit. Oh, I don't know about this one. So all of them need to... Oh, I just I just rolled a hit. So how many are next to me? You said three? There's five. Four, five. There's five right. total. Oh, this is a... No, it's a deck save. Sorry, I'm stupid. They're all in front of you. Deck save, deck save. So do a deck save, They're all five deck saves? Yes, do a deck save. What's the, D what's the DC? 14. One of them passes. So in that case, they're going to take five points of fire damage. Each? Yes, and then half as much for the one that succeeded. Anytime they end their turn next to the sphere, they have to make the save. Okay. As a bonus action, I'll bring, I'll bring the flame blade back out. Okay. Rah! So you create this, this sphere of fire, and as you see a I panicked breathe. look I'm on the face. And of... this like, flame starts to form. Feel my pain! <laughs> They all start to catch fire and you just hear the loud squeaks of, of all five of them screaming out. <laughs> ah! They got me! I'm on fire! Stop it! Ah! They start to roll around on the ground, a couple of them, but one of them stands tall acting like it didn't hurt him, but it very clearly He's did. Still very, still on fire. <laughs> still on fire, but it seems like, it seems like he, he just kind of took the force of the damage. He says, Is that all you got, tough guy? I'm gonna rip your eyes out! Up next is Gravel. Gravel approached the situation. He knew exactly what he had to do to these main ah, men. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! 
Blazing though they were, I knew there was one thing that could enrapture even their attention. And I cast Hypnotic Pattern, uh, like, <laughs> right in front of them, I guess. Okay. And out of the ground sprouts this giant, glorious Sonk Ponkle as it slowly how do you know what it looks no like? rises into the sky what does it look like what does it look like it just looks like what i think a song it's green and bumpy it just green looks and like bumpy. Yeah, dude, it's, like the fucking... it's a little bit slimy too it's like a little pickle? It's a little gross. so what what yeah. does it like what does the spell dude? actually do um every every creature in the area who sees the pattern must make a wisdom saving pickle throw uh, okay that means including uh you Icarus. That does mean Icarus as well, yes. Okay. And actually, me too. I'm gonna roll it too because that's funny. What's what's the DC? Wisdom. wisdom? Sixteen. <clears throat> I pass. I got a fifteen. Two of them pass. Three of them fail. Okay, the three that fail are now charmed by me and also incapacitated and have a move move to zero. Okay. So those three have to stay next to the sphere. <laughs> yes. You you see them rolling around on the ground and and, and you conjure this large, grand sonk punkle, green and bumpy as ever, and shining through the rain that falls onto the ground, it, it illuminates the area with a golden light, and all three of them get up from this rolling around and are just mouth agape, drawn to this, and stare blankly. The other two continue to roll on the ground, trying not to die. Gravel, Gravel's also looking up at the sonk punkle. It's the most charmed? glorious thing I ever seen. Are you charmed by yourself? Yeah, truly. My life's goal was right in front of me, and yet I couldn't get any closer. That's not even what it looks like. <laughs> That's a pickle dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, up, up next <laughs> is one of good. one of the little guys who um, did catch on fire. He uh, he gets himself up to come attack you, and he grabs another one of his buddies and says. Hey, that guy's trying to trick us. We got to stop him. And they both run at you uh, and, and try and stab you. Gravel. <laughs> Gravel is completely unmoving, unfazed by the small people who are approaching him with knives. First one is a 13. That does not hit. Second one is an eight. No, sir. So both of them come and go to slash at you, but both seem to like just slash at your knees and don't actually make contact with you. My kneecaps were replaced with steel 15 years ago. Is they're like still jumping around trying to put out this fire on them. And then they have now, all five of them are going to end their turn within this sphere because the ones that are charmed and incapacitated, do you decide what they do or do they just do nothing? You mean- They just do nothing. They're incapacitated and don't do anything. You mean three okay. of them are ending because the two of them ran away, right? No, they didn't run away. They're still right there. Yeah, they didn't move far. I they just like went. They just went with, to go. <clears throat> you have to be within five feet. Oh of the yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. They didn't run away from the fight. They re did run away from that. The three of them are going to end it, but they are incapacitated, so they would auto fail. Yeah, they would. All right, I'll go ahead and roll that. They take uh, eight more points of fire damage. You see, as the the three of them staring up, <laughs> the last thing to come out of their mouths are, "It's the most beautiful thing I don't ever <laughs> see." Go to hell. <laughs> as as they begin to melt before you like little oh wax God. figures. Uh, and We're the murder cowboys, are we? The we other are murder cowboys. The so other two that are person. that are sitting at the feet of gravel are like, holy shit! They melted them! They melted our boys! Get we gotta get size, you little inchers! Dude, I'm just yelling shit now. <laughs> <laughs> as they say, we gotta get out of here. Up next is Icarus. Wait, wait, dude, let's go back to Smurfville. I'm going to try and bust the door open now. If there are no small men in my way. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Roll to hit the door. So that's a 17 hit with a flame blade. It's a door. Yeah, that hits the door. Um, the flame blade lasts for 10 minutes. I'm going to try and keep it up for as long as I can. Are you just attacking the straight up door or the lock on the door? Dude, I'm probably just attacking the door and trying to bust through. Okay. <laughs> so how much points damage of fly, do you fire damage. <laughs> So, as you, as you brandish this flame blade and come down for a slash on the door, it cracks open the wood, uh, leaving uh, an area that is just big enough uh, for your horse body to fit through. Um, is there anything you would like to do, uh, Gravel? Gravel is still enraptured by the song Ponkle of which he created. Oh, I'll, I'll uh, 
I use my bonus my bonus action to ram the flaming sphere into the other two small men that ran away. So they need to they make need to make a saving throw. Okay. Okay. Or actually, just um, one of them does because I can only ram it into one creature at a time. So I'll ram it into one. Um, he rolls a three. All right, he takes eight points of fire damage. He's dead. He melts. All right, the one guy. He is melts left. like a wax figure. <laughs> the other one is screaming right. and flailing. If you end your turn next to the sphere, sparkly boy. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly take some steps forward. I think and accidentally. I'm gonna. I'm gonna trample the last one accidentally as I yeah, approach the song though, pumple. Uh, and run <laughs> and run into the building. Okay. I'd roll a dirty twenty to hit this last guy. That's gonna hit him for sure. I step on him, dealing four damage. Dealing four damage as you step on him, a puff of smoke comes out of his mouth, but he se- seems to still be alive, hanging on by a thread. As That's he just okay. kind of. <gasps> oh, I approach you, the song pumple. You can't do this. I no. reach for it. Truly, it's beautiful. But in, in a moment, it all disappears like a flash. Does this end your turn? I stand. I cry. Because <laughs> truly, nothing will ever match the beauty of a song pop. Nothing. <laughs> Are you coming or what, sparkly boy? He mourns for 30 seconds quietly and then comes <laughs> okay the other the other pequeño gets up and just starts to like hobble away um and as you go through this door it is at this point that i'm going to need you to deafen once again as chad figures out Ooh, okay. what is to come okay, okay. um you made us I'm murder cowboys and bathroom. you expect us not to kill the fucking <laughs> the things the pequeños so chat that, that was your fault. You did that to to them. I didn't do it. I just made. I just played it out. You did that, and this time around, uh, we're gonna do a puzzle. But I didn't really have. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't have faith in you. I didn't really think that you would be able to come up with a puzzle through a Twitch chat message, which I think is fair. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to give you several options. I'm gonna kind of explain them a little bit, and you can pick the first puzzle that I have come up with is a courtyard. Uh, it's very nice and serene. Uh, for some reason, when they enter, the rain is gone. I don't know why. It just seems like it'd be cool. It's a very calm courtyard. And when they enter, there's a door on the opposite side that is two, like, two large pieces of stone put together. And in the center of the courtyard is a glass box with a key in it, uh, there being a keyhole in the, in the stone door. And the glass box the idea is that there's a glass box and they have to harmonize to break the box. I think it would be funny if they have to like do an actual harmony. The second one, when they enter, there are two baskets that are weighted on a pulley above and the door is higher up and they just have to find a way to get both of them up the pulley. So I'm going to say two baskets. So the third one, <laughs> I really like the third one. The third one is a, a dad joke. Uh, So it's just going to be the same concept as the door, but as they enter the courtyard, the the wall will read, um, it'll say, show me only wealth, and around them will be piles of coin and money and and such. Uh, And the answer to the puzzle will be um, covering all words on, on that little pile except wealth. Show me only wealth, dad joke. I thought it was funny. Um, I, th- I think they would have a hard time getting it. But I think it would be funny. Next is same courtyard, but as they walk through, uh, at the end of the courtyard is a tunnel that they can walk through. And as they walk through it, magically a wall appears behind them. And, And this hallway seems to go on forever. And the walls along the left and right of them will say, uh, back away. And they can continue to walk down this hallway forever, but it will always say back away on the walls. And the answer to the puzzle is to just back up, walk backwards, and they will be in the room. So that those are my those are my four puzzles. Go ahead and vote which puzzle you want. It's it's totally gonna be dad joke. God damn it! It's definitely yep. It's the <laughs> dad joke. It's the dad joke. Okay. As you burst your way through this massive wooden door, you yeah. enter. <laughs> a courtyard so um, and, and as you as you cross this threshold from the outside with the rain and the muck 
just just spews all around. It's beautiful. The sun shines, the birds chirp, the trees are are well kept. All of the bushes around you are trimmed. Uh, and looking around, you see gold everywhere. Different forms of wealth, crowns, jewels, and piles. These same walls that you were seeing, these cream-colored stone walls, move all the way around this courtyard area. You see some ponds and such. But just opposite you are two stones that seem to make up a doorway that opens up. And in the center of it is a small tablet that has some words on it. I don't give a damn, where's the song punk? <laughs> in the center of it, I see a small box that has some words on it. I approach and read it aloud, as I am ought to do. You you read this tablet as you, you make your way to the opposite side of the courtyard. If you don't stop speaking like that, I will kill you. You see that it says, show me only wealth. Show me only wealth. I do not have wealth, for I am lacking in the song bongo. I stare, turning towards my, trying to think of a better word for it. I, I pause, thinking of a better word for this man's boorish behavior. You, do you have wealth? I walk over to the pile, like the pile of gold, scoop it up and throw it at him. I just throw it at him like, Kring! Okay, uh, as you, you, you pick up a pile of coins and you, you chuck it over and gravel. You, you are you just, crazy, Anne As you look up, coins are just flying at you. Uh, a crown falls at your feet. A crown falls at my feet. You want a jewel mm -hmm. too, well, princess? What was the what was the the, the thing again? I want to write it down. Um, show me only wealth is what it says in very fancy font. Indeed, I was quite puzzled by the puzzle that lay before me. I put on the crown. You pick up this crown and rest it top of your head. And looking at this door, uh, nothing seems to change. These stones stay sturdy right where they are. I'm going to go walk over to the stones and just try and move them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Roll, roll strength check. This is a waste of my time. I need that song three. <laughs> <laughs> you... you reach your hands in there and and as you squeeze the fire ignites around you you feel a little bit of it singeing you gravel as he's pulling very tightly and nothing seems to move and you, you let out you just a tiny it. little <laughs> no i don't just the tiniest fuck little you and your yes, fucking you potty humor yes you do yes you do I hate yeah that you shit. do okay whatever, you're whatever you're just a little stinky whatever. boy you're just a little stinker Dude, whatever it's a flamethrower and it almost kills fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Don't have the ass flamethrower, <laughs> dog. You can't do that. I'm not charred. <laughs> I'm not charred. Sorry. It doesn't open. <laughs> not! Figure it out! What open was this in door! All, what was in all the piles again? Uh, uh you can roll an investigation check to investigate all of the piles. Yeah, why does that? I detect magic. Um, yeah, you would sense a, a magical barrier holding this wall together. Um, 15 is what I roll. Looking through these piles, Gravel, uh, you see just a lot of coins with, oh, once again, this this bald kind of head on the, on the top of them. Um, many riches, rubies, diamonds, jewels of all kinds. All but the song Punkle. These stones are I magical. Oh. Icarus, I think I got it. I think we need to shave you and make you bald. <laughs> 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 Does Gravel actually have hair? Because as a Gandhi, Icarus doesn't yeah. have real hair. Oh, he doesn't have hair. I just told you everything uh, is made out of flames. He's a fire. All oh, right, drug. that's right. Let me try to shave those flames off of you, Larry. <laughs> so you just start swiping through the flames? <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. You have five seconds to stop before I rip you open and set fire to your insides. Platonically. <laughs> <laughs> They're in love. I was confused by the last comment, for I didn't know if you could do that anyway besides platonically. <laughs> well, I guess if that's the way it has to go, I'm gonna have to shave my head. Why do we need to be bald? 
I don't know. I just saw it on the coins. <laughs> um, I'm going. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Okay, so I didn't want to have to do this. Are you sure about this? Because if you're wrong, I'll kill you. No, the answer is no. <laughs> but... <laughs> Why is everything platonically with you? Why do you narrate everything you do? When I was a young boy. I don't care. All right, so I'm, <laughs> I'm going to let the flames around the body all kind of like simmer. So they go from like the raging red and orange to like slight cool blue. slight, And then eventually it all just kind of like goes down and he is a perfectly hairless man just, just shiny <laughs> <laughs> shiny smooth I, bald everywhere that the flame is not you can see the tail I of the think horse they're trying to teach us <laughs> still that the real wealth was always on our head you tell anyone I look like this and I'll kill you <laughs> all of the hair <laughs> is gone <laughs> from your body um Including your now naked horse ass. No, 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 no. Um, okay, oh. just just the horse ass can be naked, but the rest of it is still kind of that black matted fur. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's all of this hair completely gone. Uh, you look at the door. Nothing to. <laughs> well, damn. Flames rage. I'm gonna kill you. It appeared that I was a wrong. And be about to die. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit you with my hoof. <laughs> okay, <laughs> eleven is a hit. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. He bends uh, over and like picks up another corner. As you as you go to kick him with your hoof, he just barely sidesteps it, and your your hoof makes contact with the ground, shaking one of the nearby trees. Uh, what is your passive perception, both of you? Sixteen. Oh, uh, not good. Eleven. Gravel, you wouldn't notice this, but Icarus, uh, as the ground shakes and the tree begins to shake, a few leaves gently fall to the ground, passing by this tablet. And as one of them moves by and covers the word show, the wall begins to move ever so slightly for just a second and glow a golden hue. Oh, I get it now. But I didn't see that, so it doesn't really matter. I am still ignorant to the ways of this puzzle, and I will continue to be ignorant to it until something were to be revealed to me by maybe my friend. I here. figured it out. Incredible. So I've I never been over, so impressed the, by the brain I walk over of a man. To the, to fucking the podium, the stone, <laughs> and now it just says, what word did it cover? It just, for just a second, covered the word show, and it glimmered for a moment, but the leaf fell to the ground, and... And the full sentence was show me only wealth? Yes. So now I... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... It still says show me only wealth. I'm gonna lift my foot up. I'm, I'm gonna just gently cover the word show, I guess. It begins to glow a slight I'm gonna golden break, I'm gonna break the whole podium. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. Roll the hit. It's just a stone tablet oh, etched tablet. into this this wall. Dude, 23 to hit. 23 to hit? It takes two damage. <clears throat> you you crack uh, the, the tablet just slightly. Creating a hairline. Everything can be solved with violence. Come help me break this. I don't know about you, but I find that I am pretty exhausted and I lean on the wall and I'm to cover all three words except for well. <laughs> <laughs> As you lean on the wall and let out a, a yawn, uh, you hear you hear the sound of stone <laughs> grinding against other stone as this doorway opens up. Is it right after I crack it? Told oh, you. Well, Yes. Look at that. You are right. Violence is the answer. I lied to him. <laughs> okay. Um, what? <laughs> today's episode of Just Roll With It is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love shopping online. I spend all my money doing it. I actually just bought some really cool shoes recently. And I have never once had a promo code ready. I can't even remember my middle name sometimes. How am I going to remember a promo code? Thanks to Honey, I don't have to. Manually searching for coupons is a thing of the past. Honey is the free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Imagine you're shopping online on one of your favorite shoes. Sites. Sites. Should shoes? Sites. On one of your favorite sites. And when you check out, the Honey button appears. All you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds, Honey searches for coupons it can find on that site. And if Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the price of those shoes drop. I mean, just the general price, not about shoes specific, just the general price drop. I'd say I've only bought maybe like 50 
50, 15, 15, the 50, 50 uh, 100 pairs of shoes in the past week. I may be in horrible debt, but it could be a lot worse because Honey has saved me hundreds of dollars. It honestly wasn't even that hard. All I had to do was click the Honey button and bam, now I'm saving so much money on shoes that I can buy even more shoes. And you know, sometimes I want to buy them on the go, but that's okay. Honey doesn't just work on your desktop, it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. I'd never recommend something that I don't use. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash JRWI. That's joinhoney.com slash JRWI. Now, enjoy the rest of whatever the hell this is. Within this room, you see nothing except marble all around you. Uh, it, it, it is beautiful, elegant even. The floors are as shiny as the bald head of that man you saw. It is perhaps the cleanest building you've ever been in. But where you're entering now is just this hallway with a beautiful mahogany door at the end. You tell anyone about what you saw about my true form? And I swear to the song, Punkle. It's okay, sir. I've already forgotten about it. I lied again, for my memory was photographic, and I had stored that 15 million times. Every synapses in my brain was firing at this moment, memorizing what the look of... <laughs> Fucking what was your first name again? Icarus. <laughs> Icarus's bald head <laughs> looked like. For Truly your safety, a I'm gonna sight. pretend I didn't hear what you just said. <laughs> Help me find the song, Pongo, and you'll live. Maybe. What are you guys doing from here? Is a mahogany door and a bunch of marble around us? Yes. I hate mahogany. Burn it down! <laughs> Attack the door. Yeah. <laughs> the hallway is probably like, uh, I would I would give it 60 feet or so. Um, I guess you have time to stop me before I produce flame and try and burn this door down. Nah, I got nothing. Um, detect magic glass 10 minutes. So do I detect any magic in this room? You detect, a, uh, you detect magic behind the door, for sure. That's where you get the strongest... Does a, does a 13 from. hit the door? Yeah, door. 11 fire damage? 11 fire damage demolishes this mahogany door. As you slash away the door, left in front of you is what seems like the most elegant supply closet you have ever seen in your life. The mops, the brooms, all kept very, very carefully put away. I thought you were going to tell me it was another mahogany door behind this mahogany door. And sitting <laughs> right in front of you, is what seems like a chest. And you sense the magic within this chest. Icarus, do you smell that? <laughs> I sniffed. And enveloping my sinuses. The smell. What could only be? The song Pongle. We approach the chest. Wait, what do you need the song Pongle for? There aren't gonna be two of them. So let's settle this now. I look up towards the towering mass of meat and fire. You see, it's my wife. She's got sunk ponkless, and she has less than a week to live. What do you need the sunk ponkle for? Huh? Sucks for you, and I, <laughs> I kick open the chest. <laughs> and as you shoot open this chest, uh, a golden light. You're just fills the room. So you're taken. <laughs> and at this point, I'm willing to elope. Go ahead and deafen. Oh my god! So me and the chat can figure some stuff out. All right, bye. Bye, bye. Okay, chat. It's not the song, Punkle. It's just not. It's just not that. It's not that. We couldn't be that. Why would it be that? But it is magic items. They figured out the puzzle. They're gonna get some magic items. Immovable rod. Okay. Pistol whip, that's not a that's not a magic item. That's not a magic item. Although it is magical. I need a couple a gun. A gun. A gun. Okay. So we've got immovable rod, a gun, and a love potion. I like that. Platypus. Put platypus on there. Sure, fuck it. Platypus. And big sword. We'll put big sword. We need to come up with two items. Why did they instantly get so many ants? I'm voting platypus. I don't even know why. I don't even. I don't have a platypus. Platypus D&D. &D. Yeah, sure. They get a platypus friend. I guess if, if that wins, that's totally gonna win. Terry the platypus. That's terrible. Platypus and a love potion. Okay. All right. Cool. Icarus, you 
rip off the top of this chest, crashing the, the, the top piece over onto, onto the marble. And as a golden light envelops the room, uh, you're, you're blinded for just a second. And, and as your vision returns to you, you see, laying in this chest, gently, gracefully, beautifully, Give me the song, Pongle! Is a platypus. I... <laughs> That's and the no platypus song, looks up at you oh, and what? gives you a... <laughs> and you can see this platypus is holding a potion close to it. Now, what's all this thing? It has a little name tag. Um, that an orange kind of uh, collar with a name tag. What's, it? what's that say down as well? there? On further inspection, you can see it says Terry. Terry the platypus. Oh my god, it's adorable. I'll look up toward it. It looks up at you like almost dead in the eyes. I want to pick it up. Hi, you little guy. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing here? <laughs> what do you got this little potion, little guy? Oh, oh, oh. Now, why in tarnation? God, you're so cute. It was very cute. Terry, huh? That's your name? <laughs> No, oh, I'm gonna keep him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is. I'm gonna keep him. Why does him. it look like you're like holding a button? And, like. He's he's holding the potion. He's holding the, oh, right. the potion. He's holding and throw, it, and throw it to the gravel. Here. All right. Oh, now be careful with that. Whoa. Whoa, man. You threw the potion out. Terry, where are you hiding the song, Ponko? Oh, whoa, whoa. Gravel was never one to turn down a drink. He unpops the potion and chugs it down. Are you serious? <laughs> Without even figuring out what it is? <laughs> That's you my know, brave sparkly boy. <laughs> okay, Some you, you drink the potion. You drink the potion. <laughs> awesome. Um, as you as you kind of bitter as you get down this 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 pink liquid. You gulp it down, it tastes oh, wonderful. Uh -oh. Like like a uh -oh. cranberry sprite. It tastes really good. Cranberry sprite. Huh. Interesting. I wanna I wanna put Terry in his face. <laughs> and say, Look how cute! You see, Tell him you he's see cute. The platypus looking into your eyes or beyond your eyes, you don't know. That potion changed my life. And you are now um, <laughs> in a deep, you for legal reasons, platonic love <laughs> with, 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 with the, the platypus. Get your hands off my wife, you son of a bitch. No, again, platonic, again, platonic. My, pl my platonic wife, you son of a bitch. What are you talking about, Terry, is your wife? You said your wife has Splunkle Blunkle or whatever. I told you I was willing to elope. <laughs> And so I... <laughs> Terry's mine, what are you talking about? <laughs> Give me that. Just a, no! As you begin to fight over Terry, you hear a very loud... Boom. Boom. And stepping towards you. Actually, Terry is mine. You see a tall, eight-foot man Hi. standing in the center oh, no. of this oh, marble no. hallway. He wears a white shirt, tucked into white pants, only separated by a black belt. The top of his head, glistening, bald. Terry belongs to me now. I believe I need to introduce myself. I'm President Bald, and I think you're in the wrong place. Looking closer at this man, you can see stop, just a stop trying to kiss him. Stop. underneath the shirt. <laughs> Come here, Terry. <laughs> now I'll give you one chance to unhand Terry before this gets bad. The towering bald man spoke down to me as if I were nothing. But I knew that this was my opportunity. I had to fight for the honor of my love. Terry, oh, the platypus. Oh, oh, oh. I'm, just, I'm ignoring the big man and so <laughs> infatuated with Terry. You are, you are charmed by Terry. I don't entirely know what that means i don't know i'm just um, rolling with drink, a man so if you had like what was it like a filter a filter of love yes so the first thing you saw was terry i'm guessing yeah this means that for the duration now 
charmed by Terry. Yeah, so if you would be normally attracted to a platypus, you regard it as your true love. <laughs> That's it. So you're and you're charmed. I'll give you one more chance. Unhand Terry now and leave here. Tell me. Big tall and stupid. What do you know about the song bongle? He reaches his hand under his shirt, lifts it up, and out comes the song bongle from around his neck. Oh, this! Is this what you're looking for? I'll be back for you, Terry. Oh, oh, oh. I'm putting him back in the chest. Come and get it. I had little care for the song bongle anymore, for the glowing light of the song bongle had instead been replaced with the lovable chirping Watch after of a platypus. <laughs> Watch after Terry. Don't let anything happen to him. I would never. I want to start galloping towards this man and and with, at this point with or with roll or initiative. Without. Okay, cool. my initiative is an eight, so I thought I was nice. cool, but I'm not. Fifteen. Okay. I thought so. I was cool, but I'm not, dude. I'm not. So up first is Gravel. I lean down, slowly sitting to the floor, and I pick up Terry the platypus and I stare at him deeply in his eyes. And I start petting him, and I cast Speak with Animals. Okay, you cast Speak with Animals. What do you say? Terry, you are the light of my life. What? You have changed me forever. Truly, you don't look actions, all right, bro. No, no bands. <laughs> are you okay? This dude's going to kill you. A tear forms within my eye. As I know that Terry is right, I'm not okay. Does he kind uh -huh. of look like a platypus? <laughs> <laughs> in a, in a good Are you gonna fight this guy? Or are we just gonna like you could get me out of here too? But That'd I, be cool. I knew that no matter what I did, I couldn't leave behind Terry the platypus. Yeah, whatever, for man. Truly, whatever you're feeling. I started this adventure for the song punkle, but maybe it was always about the friends we made along the way. It's it doesn't really it's just a song punkle. We could and just Terry. Go. It was the most important friend of all. I just met you. Terry, I lift him into the air. Uh-huh. I love you, platonically. Okay. I'm gonna kick this guy's ass now, and that's my turn. And that's your turn, is just talking with, with Terry? <laughs> yep, I used my action to cast speak with animals. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. So that ends your turn. And at this point, mm -hmm. that brings us around to President Bald. President Ball. He is going to step forward, uh, cracking the marble with every step. And as he as he stares at you, the glimmer uh, of his head kind of shines in your direction. Go ahead and make a constitution saving throw. Fourteen. Natural one. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too focused, staring into Terry's eyes. <laughs> you. You feel you feel your body begin to to be struck with what what feels like just a strong love that is keeping you from moving, but your legs actually you don't feel yourself being able to move them. You are now restrained. Okay. As you feel like a magical numbness take over uh, your your legs. Up next is uh, <laughs> is, is Icarus. All right, then I'm going to start galloping towards this guy, and I'm going to leap into the air, and as I do, I'm going to expend my bonus action to Wild Shape and to this black on fire bear. As he lands right in front of him, it goes... And then goes for this strike of, like, flaming... Uh, with his flaming claws as the action. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. All right, says so a 21 to hit. 21's gonna wow, hit wait. President Ball. Yosh, 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 yosh. I'll roll for the hit for the other one as well. Okay. That's a natural one. Okay, so I, I missed the second. I missed the second with the first one. All right, take six, seven, eight points of slashing damage. No actual fire damage because I'm just a bear. Yeah, that's uh, so. That's that's my turn, and I'm this bear right in front of him. Okay, so that ends your turn. Uh, and as you as you stand in this bear form, how tall is the bear form? Uh, it's. If I'm like on the hind legs, like if I'm standing up, I mean he's a medium beast. He's probably just about as big as he's a big he's he's the biggest black bear on his on his legs. So, 
Okay, yeah, that so is. the President Bald still towers over you. Black Bear height he just... is fucking not that tall, dude. Five seven, really? No, he's gotta be at least six six foot. He no, he just looks at you and says long. Okay, there we go. with the with the slash mark against his cheek and, and some of his shoulder, he just says, You shouldn't have done that. Uh but up next it is gravel. <laughs> As I they sit here, small. The tallest grasping Terry in my grubby, undeserving hands, I look towards Icarus. I know I should help him, but I just can't bring myself to move my legs. I'm going to roll to try to see if I can actually move my legs. Is that okay? That's my action is to try to resist. You want to try and resist? All right, just roll another constitution save. 11. No, no, sorry. You, you, don't, you don't seem to uh, sustain any more numbness but you are still you are still technically restrained but i can't bring myself to do it no i can't leave terry behind he's so helpless so innocent damn it terry if you hadn't been here i could have done anything that's my turn up next is president bald as he is going to reach up and crack his knuckles and I just like rub his bald head and it almost seems like a magical energy envelops his hand coming off of the bald head wraps around his hand as he rears back and goes to punch you and yeah punch the bear yeah okay well, bitch all right bitch Dude, all right you, bring you on, punched huh? a bear bring on. okay hey bring it what you got come on man okay, huh? um so that is going to be a natural 20. oh my god oh my god he does think he's tough huh I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, whatever, bro. Give it to me, huh? <laughs> Give it to me! Oh my god. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um... You cheating right now, bro. You don't know, I'm not you cheating, don't know my dog, I swear. Bro. Don't let me die. I got a, I got a <laughs> fucking mission. I need the song punkle. I'm so sorry. You take 20 points of bludgeoning damage as he punches you square in the chest revert out of my black bear form as it takes the entirety of the damage one damage carrying <laughs> okay, over okay. to Icarus you're gonna wish you didn't do that no I don't think I will as he's gonna come in for his second attack well, he's and it's he's almost dead. like like he jumps straight up into the air and moves horizontally along the ground in like a kicking position <laughs> as he just like this guy. floats towards you and goes to kick you in the chest that one is going to be 13 to hit. Yeah, it does. You take six bludgeoning damage as, as his foot makes contact with your chest and he floats back down to the ground in a standing position. Can't wait for me to die. Well, it'll be pretty soon. You have no idea what I've been through. I need that sock buckle. Well, come and get it. And up next is gravel. Once again. Uh, does a, does a 12, does a 12 release me from my Paralyzed stupor. I'm going up by one every time. Badly, no, it does not. Terry! <laughs> I can't do it! I can't help you, bro. I just can't stand up. I get. He's so bald. He's, he's really bald. He's really he's bald. He's you just stop looking at it. Just Terry. stop looking at it. Stop looking at it and you're fine. Terry, what am I to do, Terry? Stop looking at his bald head. I keep trying to tell you that. Ah, it's so bold, Terry. What do you want me to do, man? I'm a platypus. Terry, I am a platypus. Me. There, I, there's Please, a very I little I can do about right it. Now, Terry, very, do you want me? Do you, I can make the sound. Ever. You want me to make the sound? I made the sound. That's like all I got. Oh God! That's it. I'm a platypus. I can hit it. You want me to hit him? You can do that. I guess. I don't know. Never been in a yeah. fight before. Get him, Terry. <laughs> and at this point, Terry joins the initiative order uh, just after you gravel. And you see him get down on all fours and begin to move towards him. He looks back at you and goes, Grrr. A smile and then, fills my mouth. <laughs> and he goes to bite onto uh, President Bald. I've never been so proud in my life. He hits! Yes! 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 Okay. Um, so stupid. President Bald takes one piercing damage. <laughs> yeah, Terry! But 
but he... Oh my god. He rolled... President Bald is now... You see, you see his face kind of start to turn green right after the bite. President Bald begins to turn pale and a little green. He looks down and says, Oh, Terry. Why did you have to do that? And, and, and as he, he seems to be uh, in quite the pickle himself. But up next is actually President Bald, as he's going to try and kick Terry now. No! That's crazy. And as he goes to kick Terry, I swear I'm just going by dice rolls. You see his face, he starts to sweat a little bit. Some sweat accumulates around his head. He goes to kick him and completely misses Terry. Oh, thank and God. he starts to pant. He goes in for another strike on Terry. No! Dude, no way. <laughs> he doesn't hit him. He just doesn't hit the fucking platypus at his feet. That's insane. Let's go, Terry. Let's go, Terry. <laughs> That's he, Terry has an armor class of 11. <laughs> Up next is going to be Icarus. I'm going to back up at like at least 20 feet. Real quick. Okay. Don't you ever try and hurt Terry again, you bastard! That little platypus. And then I'm gonna Won't I'm gonna wild shape as a bonus action, and the flames, the whole the whole upper male torso starts to like lean forward. The flames just sort of kind of like circle around it like this flame tornado, and I evolve into a full horse, a war horse. A full way flaming war horse. I'm no okay. longer half man. I'm all whore. All horse, baby. Okay, so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna trampling charge and hit him with the hooves attack. Um, so I'm gonna he has to make a strength saving throw. If I hit, no, I think I don't even think I have to hit. All right, I'm gonna charge him. Here we go. I'm I'm gonna roll anyways. Is it a strength saving throw he has to do? Yes, and that is a a 19 to hit. Oh my God! Natural one on the strength saving throw. Oh my God! All right, so he's knocked prone. Does the 19 hit? Armor class? 19 hits. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna take 19 hit. By six points total of bludgeoning damage, and now the horse, uh, or, or hordes horse, my man horse horse Icarus. I kept forgetting his name. It's uh, it's it's the gay horse, <clears throat> the gay phoenix horse. Stands over him and goes. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, he, but I'm like pinning him to the ground, you. so he's like, yeah, he's he's knocked prone right now. He looks very sickly, and says, "You'll never get the song, Punkle." I piss on him. You just hear Terry. What? I pee on him. It's Can you funny. translate for that for me I specifically? Piss fire to him. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Throw the fire in the flames! Oh, is, does that end your I turn? piss a burning stream on your bloodline! That's what I say in horse. <laughs> that ends your turn? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's my turn. Sorry. Okay, up next is up next is Gravel. Come on, Gravel. Harry's out there fighting for his life, and you're still sitting here. You're so goddamn weak. Come on, man. I keep saying just stop looking at his head. 10. It's 10. I've got a no. 10. No. I, I can't no. do it, Terry. No. no. Just stop. I, I mean, literally, just close your eyes. It's not that hard. Terry, I can't do it. Okay. I, I guess can't. that's your fault. Uh, you pull always cry. Together, <laughs> sparkly boy. What about your wife? Someone married you? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh. He closes his eyes as a single tear falls down his face. You just try and resist and you don't manage your turn? Yeah. Insane. Okay. Up next is up next is Terry. That's what I imagine is playing inside his brain. Up next is Terry. Terry is just gonna bite him again. He has advantage because he's the guy President Bald is prone. He got a natural twenty. Yes! Got a natural, Terry got a natural. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> natural yes! 20 for Terry! <laughs> the guy takes two <laughs> points of <Christian> damage. <laughs> wow. 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 Terry is crazy. You Terry don't have is to crazy. Do this, you little cute guy. I got nothing better to do. 
You can't. We can't talk to each other. We're a horse and a blood. You platypus. can't. We're fucking blood and water, bro. We can't be together. After Terry, that's going to be President Bald. He is uh, going to try and get. He's gonna get up. Half his movement speed is pretty much it. But at least Terry got the two points of damage. That's what it was for, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I was for. Gravel, he's, he's gonna, done nothing. He's <laughs> gonna <laughs> get up, kind of move himself over to you. Uh, you're still in this horse form, correct? Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm angry. My, my eyes are fire. <laughs> oh my, yeah, he does not look good. Uh, he, he looks, got like a green hue around the eyes and his skin is incredibly pale. Singed everywhere. Yeah. He is, he looks ill, sickly, like, like he's, uh, going to throw up and die. Ew. Yeah. Uh, he's going to like weekly, you're never, you'll, you'll, you'll never get the song bungle. And he's just going to kind of like weekly, uh, you'll go to never. punch this horse. Yeah. Punch that horse. Oh, okay. That was actually pretty good. Stop beating a dead horse, bro. As in 18. I'm going to use my bardic inspiration cutting words. <laughs> okay. And try to save him from this hit. I don't think you're going to my AC so low. Go for it. You already said it. Yeah, go for it. Hey, don't do that. And it becomes a 16 instead. It still hits, sorry. It still hits. He kind of moves over to hit you. Um, Thank you for trying. And like his fist just like barely like limply touches you, but you still take the damage as if as if he had just punched you full force. So he tries to attack you again. We'll roll we'll roll damage in a minute. All right, see if the second one hits. That one is a six. No, dude, I bite it. I grab it with my horse teeth. You you still take seven damage. Gotcha. It's still in the horse form. Still good. So horse form takes seven damage. So he goes to punch at you, and one makes contact with you. The other just kind of swings and misses, and you hear just. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, I'm gonna get you. You get a <laughs> not good. Take it. Yeah, I'll take Terry. Gosh. <laughs> um, and that ends the turn. So, uh, that brings us over to you, Icarus. All right. Um, I drop the horse form. Well, okay. so I is that an action? No, it's a bonus action. Okay. So basically, my my upper half just returns to the man, and I uh, am going to approach him slowly. Okay. Now I'm gonna cook you like a pot of beef stroganoff, and I burning hands him. Give, give me your best Dash save. Yeah. <sighs> Natural one. Takes ten points of fire damage. Instant. Now he's looking like, pretty bad. Damn. He's looking pretty rough. Who else is looking rough? Gravel. Rough. Like gravel. Gravel. Rough. Okay. Well, I think that's my turn. Uh, that brings us to the top of the round, which is gravel. God damn it. <laughs> A five. You spent this. Whole, Are you going to do anything? Only to counter in Rapture by Terry. <laughs> Terry, Dozo. don't say that, Terry. Are you going to do anything? Terry, don't, don't say that. I'm a to platypus. Me, Terry. I've done more than you. God damn it, Terry. I've never even been in a fight. I always loved you. Aren't you supposed to be a murder cowboy? <laughs> Wait a second. How does he know that? I just know that. God, is that you? How does he know that? No. It's Terry. <laughs> oh. J just stop looking at the head. I keep trying to tell you that. You're not listening to me. I, just, I can't. I can't stop. You're just in the it. general direction of the it. head. Just, lip, just close your eyes, even. Terry, I can't. I can't. You can. I believe in you. <laughs> Damn it, Terry. I'm going to throw my dagger. <laughs> I'm gonna finally do something. Let's see Roll the hit. Goes. It's at Roll the hit with advantage. Um, with advantage? Is yeah. it flat? I, I have disadvantage from the um, strain. Oh, wait, no, he's not. Never mind. No, not with advantage. There's still a disadvantage. My knife. I pick it up and I throw it by the blade. Flying through the air it goes, but it falls flat. Six and a half meters too short. Half a foot in front of me. God damn it, I can't do it, Terry. Dude, I keep trying to tell you, close your eyes or something. <laughs> he just you, sobs. Get he your wallows. shit together, okay? He wallows. You, are you good? Are no, you okay? I'm not, Terry, I'm not, I'm not good. Should I just leave? Oh, no, Terry, like don't leave me. Terry, don't leave me, no. Uh, you're not, I Anything mean, but like this isn't really my fight. I was just in a box. Terry, no. I was just in a box. 
Okay. I've done so much for you, Terry. Up next and is going to be uh, Terry uh, as he, as he kind of just waddles over to you, looks up at you and says, bye. Turns around. He begins to walk away. With his movement speed, he gets just a little bit down the hallway. And at this point, that will bring us to... Terry! There's a broken man in his closet. President's, President Bald's turn. <laughs> he says, I can't. Uh, Maybe I can't beat you. I can take away what you love. <laughs> and he summons no! the sweat from his head. And it kind of swirls around and turns into a magical energy. And he looks down at Terry. Oh, it's just Terry? energy. Yes. I thought you were talking about the song clonk off or something. I'm like, what? no, not the song clonk No, Terry! <laughs> looks down at Terry. No. Raises his fist up. No. No! I'm looking at you. I don't have anything for reactions. I can't save him. I've got one still. He hits. No, he Don't doesn't. you dare touch Terry. I he use cutting Terry. words. He, okay. <laughs> Don't you dare lay your hands on Terry. <laughs> no, dude, no. But... <laughs> Why would he yeah, kill I can. Him? It's a reaction. No, Don't kill him. Don't Minus him. three from his roll. Does it do anything? No. <laughs> no! His Dude. fist plummets down. No. That only brings it to a 16. You did not just say that. I did. In the middle of this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no. That brings it to a 16, and sadly, Terry's AC. It's an 11. God damn. As the fist comes down and meets Terry, Terry takes... You six sick. points. You of sick motherfucker. You know how many hit points Terry has? How many does he have? No. No. Not enough. It's fine, man. He just has to roll a few death saves. Let's try because he's in the initial His order. His fist reaches up and plummets down. He was so far. Onto Terry. How did he get over there so fast? If he had to move, Terry. Terry moved. It's all happening in this general. Terry moved bro, don't don't down rules the lawyer the fucking song with his movement and movement speed, the, which should be at least 15 President feet. Bald. President I'm, Bald you know moved away President from Bald me. President Bald can move a million attack. miles an hour I because I fucking attack. said so. I'm the DM. I'm God. He's President Bald. He can do. He's fucking attack. President Bald, dude. I get an opportunity attack. He moved away from me. Sure, whatever. He still hits him. Die. Terry's HP is reduced to zero, as you see him just. What <laughs> Fall over. No! I don't hit him anyways, fuck it. <laughs> there are always consequences <laughs> to your actions. I will reduce you your ashes! Attack, and reduce your ashes to sun! Roll to hit. I, I already rolled, I didn't hit. But I'm waiting on my turn now. <laughs> okay, uh, what was it to hit? It was. I mean, it was a 9 for the reaction hit. Okay, no, that doesn't hit. But mm -hmm. up next is Gravel. I'll put your ashes in the furnace. No, no, that's it's Icarus. It's Icarus. Icarus. It's Icarus. Sorry. Then throw the furnace in Names. the lava. Icarus, you're up next. In a fucking volcano. Roll the hit, bro. Do what you're gonna do. Here he's going. I break the flame blade back up. I'm gonna roll the hit. Do I get my inspiration? Yeah, part of inspiration. Just take the body inspiration. Is it a reaction? <laughs> this is your attack. Oh. Just, uh, just take it. The tears, my tears. The sound of me wailing in the closet. <laughs> Give you inspiration. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. A bonus action shit. Never mind. Okay, here we go. Fuck, dude. I rolled a 15 you know to end. That just oh. it's 16 points of fire damage. Time begins to slow down as the fire envelops around you. 16 points? 16 points of fire damage. Icarus. How do you want to do this? You said the song Kwanka was around his neck? Yes. Out now, still fully intact. What does the song Kwanka look like? Because I don't think that I'm very clear on that. It looks like a Christmas ornament. It's like a shiny uh, pickle. I clutch the flame plate and I dash forward, leaving the streak of fire behind me as I ride. Take one more glance at the crushed Terry beneath President Bald's fist, and I slash the flame blade right through the neck, but it made a flame so it doesn't cut. 
it just makes his entire head, similar to mine, burst into flames like a torch. As he looks like a human candle, the body still still as his head burns away. At this point, the the bald head is obscured and... And then I grab the sunk ponkle and I rip it off of his neck. Gravel, you can now move fully. <laughs> he stays still, wallowing. I mean, he stays, I stay still, just wallowing at the loss of my best friend. <laughs> just burns silently on his knees. He falls the ground. All right, I cast Cure of Wounds on Terry. <laughs> At third level, if I can do that. It's my last third level spell slot. Mm. Just one try, come on. Is he dead dead? Did he, he take dead, dead? I mean, there's no, death, no harm in time, damage. right? Just, just throw, just throw a quick little... Make sure it works. Let me roll one death save for him. And if he passes, I'll allow it. If he fails... Gone. I'll actually... I'll allow you to roll the d20 so Jack can see it. Me? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll bring Put my... it up on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Just get your get your D&D Beyond. Hello, here's my D&D Beyond, everybody. Um, here's the dice. Okay, here we go. Are we ready, chat? Are we ready? I hope everyone's ready for this. <laughs> this will decide it all. It's been a ride, and it's been all your fault. <laughs> it's all your fault, chat. Does Terry live? Or does Terry or does die? Terry die? Roll with it! He fell by one! No! 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 Are you no! fucking kidding me? Dude! <laughs> Despite all your magics... By no one, avail. dude! He does not rise. No! Oh, I have a cat now. That is better. Terry lies lifeless. But the song pongle in hand. Still. I look at the song pongle. So the song pongle can be split in half or anything? Because um, it's like an it just looks like a Christmas ornament. It's like a thing. Icarus. We've got to live on for Terry. Me and you. Yeah, this sucks. He's totally dead. <laughs> what the fuck? But at least I killed the president bald guy who killed him. So listen. <laughs> All right. See ya. Regarding the song pompo. Huh? Maybe maybe I can have it on weekends and like you get it the rest of the week or like You asked me what I needed the song pongle for. What is it? My little sister had a platypus. Oh. It recently passed away. She helps take care of the church in town, but ever since I was cursed by this fire demon, I'm not allowed in. So I can't really see her often. I'm also much more angry and murderous. And I don't want to see her like... I don't want her to see me like this anyways. When I heard that her platypus... Larry died. I thought I could come here and get the song ponkle. Since legend it says... It'll grant any wish. And if anyone deserved a wish, it was my little sister. Wait, legend says that it grants a, a wish? Sure. But... Actually, it was just worth money, but like... I, I was gonna say, that is a bunch of bull honky. Either way, even if it was horse shit, she could sell it. Buy a new platypus. I was gonna give you the song ponko when we found Terry. But now he's dead. <sighs> I, I failed, Icarus. I failed. And I've got nothing left to live for now. Well, hell isn't so bad. <laughs> what? It's what the fire demon tells me. I was just gonna go, like... I was gonna... Fi find a new reason to live. Maybe stop monologuing so much. Yeah, it kind you of know pisses me off. <laughs> I'll, I'll take that... <laughs> I'll take that criticism to heart. I lied. I didn't care what he said. <laughs> Something about your song, Sparkly Boy, touched me. You ever feel like a plastic bag, your curious? Drifting through the wind. <laughs> Wanting to start again. <laughs> Me too, man. Yeah. Me too. Let's say we, we tackle what comes next together. In this... Terryless world. Can I give this to my little sister? <laughs> I can heal your wife. Or whatever. I'm afraid it's beyond that. 
No, Song Bunkle. Idis. <laughs> it's chronic. So she's it's totally already gonna in her die. Brain. She's gonna die. I mean, she's probably already dead. I've been looking for this thing for three years. <laughs> I've, not, I've not heard a word from her since I left. Yeah, that sucks. I think I'd like that. I think I'd like that very much. Or whatever. I don't care. Stick around if you want. Not like I have friends anyways. Icarus and Gravel then went on to become the best murder cowboy. You're doing it again. Ever was. You're doing it again. And as the sun set on a new ah! day, Gravel looked back knowing that despite his loss, he could yet feel whole again. Kill me, God! <laughs> Both walking away from the fallen President Bald and Terry. Off to new adventures together. And to give the song Ponkle to your little sister. To revive a separate, uh, but equally important, Platypus Larry. Yeah. Chat, would you do the honors of saying that is where we end the session? <laughs> chat is that where we end this session chat chat is that please let us go guys. let us go please oh please I see that it. is oh, where God. we end <laughs> this session you you all could have just said and then they kiss and it would have been canon <laughs> yeah. but it's too late we've already we've already ended the session it's over now. session's over they don't kiss i'm sorry i don't have mouth i don't have a mouth he doesn't he's just fire dude imagine, just fire. imagine just fire how, is this, how is this statistically just bones and logistically fire and horse. gonna work horse and bones and fire okay well that was our little session run by me and you i hope you liked it if you did uh maybe we could do something else like this sometime yeah um, no no. <laughs> <laughs> Never again, actually. <laughs>